from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 20th, 2023. A Palestinian teenager who shot two Israeli men earlier this week in Jerusalem has been arrested. Israel police said the 15-year-old suspect from the West Bank city of Nablus was arrested in a joint operation conducted by the Israel Border Police Yamam Unit, the IDF, and Shin Bet, Israel's security agency, within 24 hours of the incident which, as we reported to you, took place in the East Jerusalem neighborhood of Sheikh Jarrah Tuesday morning. Security camera footage captured the teenager shooting the men at close range, moderately wounding them. He then fled the scene and reportedly went to school. His remand was extended today by a Jerusalem court for at least another week. The Times of Israel reports that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu offered Mai Golan the role of the Consul General to New York, replacing Asaf Zamir, who stepped down from the role a few weeks ago in protest of the judicial overhaul. Golan, though a member of Netanyahu's Likud party, was aligned in the past with far-right parties in Israel and has made some controversial remarks over the years and news of her possible appointment is causing a stir, including within the American Jewish community. In response to which, Golan tweeted today, I want to assure everyone that if I will be appointed, I will represent 100% the mainstream policies of Prime Minister Netanyahu and the Likud party to which I belong. I am completely committed to the unity of the Jewish people, and that is the exact policy that I will follow. If appointed, she said, I will work with the leaders of all the Jewish organizations as part of the effort to strengthen the great partnership between Israel and the American Jewish communities. The World Zionist Congress kicked off yesterday in Jerusalem. The Extraordinary Zionist Congress, as it is being called, includes over 2,000 Jewish leaders and young people from Israel and around the world. The U.S. delegation, which includes representatives from 20 different organizations, is led by the American Zionist movement. President Deborah Isaac and Executive Director Herbert Block saying just ahead of the gathering this week, the U.S. delegation to the Zionist Congress, reflecting the wide diversity of the American Jewish community, heads to Israel at an auspicious time. We will gather together in the spirit of Herzl, to celebrate the modern miracle of 75 years of our Jewish national homeland. This Congress, they said, also enables diaspora Zionists to engage in important dialogue with our colleagues in Israel at a time when many important issues are being considered. Yom HaZikaron, Israel's memorial to its fallen soldiers and victims of terror, is just days away, and today, Prime Minister Netanyahu reiterated his calls to leave the discord behind during this sacred time. He said in a video message, Today I ask all elected officials from the right and left to put the argument aside, to leave it outside of the cemeteries, to allow the bereaved families and all of us to mourn in silence the memory of our loved ones. Netanyahu saying the bereaved families deserve to experience these days with the entire nation of Israel standing united behind our heroes without any arguments. Yom Ha'atzma'ut, Israel's Independence Day, immediately follows Yom HaZikaron, and Netanyahu met today with the torchlighters for the 75th celebrations. Those selected for this esteemed honor this year include basketball coach David Blatt, anti-bullying advocate Ofek Rishon, head of infectious diseases at Rambam Hospital, Dr. Khitam Hussein, and Sivanya Ari, head of Innovation Africa, which brings Israeli innovations in agriculture, water, and energy to remote parts of Africa. And the IDF today released details of its traditional flyover for Yom Ha'atzma'ut, saying it will include more than 100 aircraft with the participation of foreign air forces, saying dozens of pilots from foreign armies, including the United States, Germany, Great Britain, and Italy, will participate in the flight. 
This, they said, is a sign of the partnership between the countries and the unique relationship of the state of Israel with them. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, April the 20th. At 7 o'clock, we bring you Into the Light, a night of cabaret live from Central Synagogue with Jewish songs, rock music, Broadway show tunes, and more. Featuring Cantor Dan Matlu, Cantor Jenna Pearsall, and Rabbi Angela Bookdahl. Then it's a look at the life and music of Irving Berlin. At 9, musical theater composer and lyricist Stephen Schwartz is on L'Chaim. And then it's a look at the art of Norman Gorbati. And coming up next, it's the ILTV's Insider. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, April the 20th, 2023. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.